It's been almost three full weeks of protesters taking to the streets, demanding transparency in the case of Andrew Brown Jr. And Sparocco joins us live from Elizabeth City after speaking with some community activists. And, and they're saying these past few weeks have taken a toll. Bethany, Dan, that's right. I spoke to one of the protest organizers, Kirk Rivers, who says they feel like they're still just not being heard. He says he and many other community members are feeling the frustration for the Brown family today. We're going on 21 days and that, that's just a travesty. Protesters and community members say they want the family of Andrew Brown Jr. to see all of the police body cam footage. That's these people's family member that's deceased on this video. You should just give them the whole video. Community activist Kirk Rivers says the past few weeks have been discouraging. The community is getting frustrated. For activists like Rivers, he says the lack of transparency leaves too many to question what is happening behind closed doors in their own county. Well, it's not about being anti-cop or anything of that nature. And that's what we want to make specifically clear. And but if you if you had a loved one to be, you would just want to be receive the truth. Rivers says he wants to see change in how body cam footage is handled. He hopes for the sake of the family, they will one day be able to see all the video to get closure. For them to once again try to create and control this narrative instead of just releasing the tape and letting the family and let the public see what took place and then we move on from there. Now, Rivers says, of course, they will be planning to gather around 3 o'clock this afternoon. They said they ho are hoping to start their peaceful march around 5 o'clock to continue to make their voices heard. Reporting live in Elizabeth City, I'm Ann Sparocco for 13 News Now. Thank you, Ann. And 13 News Now will be in Elizabeth City all day. When new information emerges, trust us to bring that to you on air and online. We'll also send out breaking news alerts to your phone if you download the 13 News Now app.